Good evening, everyone. My name is Brianna Howard, and I am one of the school counselors here at Jordan High School. It is my honor to welcome you to the 2022 Virtual Senior Awards Program. I want to say something about this group of seniors because they are certainly a special group. The 2022 class is the epitome of perseverance and resilience because, see, their freshman year, it was a regular school year, just like it's always been. But then their sophomore year, right around March, COVID hit, and they thought they were going to be out for about two weeks and then return to life as usual. But they didn't get to come back to school for one and a half years. So see, this senior year is special because they've had to overcome obstacles that none of us had to go through in high school. We didn't have to do virtual high school. It was an option maybe, but it was not forced upon us. So here they are, their senior year. And it is my honor to be able to be here tonight to acknowledge them as they receive so many awards. Our program tonight will start off with our, our principal, Ms. Taylor, presenting the Principal SOAR Award. And then we will have presentation of scholarships and awards by various faculty and guests. And then we'll, we'll close out with our assistant principal, Ms. Williams. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Each year, Jordan administration identifies at least one senior to receive the Principal SOAR Award. The selected senior represents the characteristics of SOAR through supporting fellow Falcons, optimizing opportunities, appropriately responding, and respecting the community. This year's SOAR recipient will receive a $250 check from the Taylor family. This year's recipient consistently works to meet or exceed classroom expectations. He is a friend to many, is honest, is kind, and brings a positive energy to our school campus. In addition to being a student, he optimizes opportunities by having two jobs, one at Town Hall and one at Tomato Jake's. He does not let his work hours interfere with his commitment to the classroom. This, this year's, year's SOAR recipient is graduating on time and with options as he is attending the Beyond Academics program at UNC Greensboro in the fall. Congratulations to Will Sipe, the 2022 Principal SOAR Award recipient. I'll see you tomorrow, Will, with the check. The Service and Leadership Scholarship is awarded by the Jordan PTSA to at least two graduating seniors who exhibit a commitment to community service and show leadership in the classroom, home, school, and or local community. We value continuing education after high school, and we are committed to awarding a scholarship to a first generation attendee. This year, due to generous donations by the Jordan families, we were able to award five recipients of the scholarship. The first recipient, Dahlia Al Abidi, a first generation college attendee, was very active in the Jordan community in Stronger Together and Best and Buddy and Best Buddies Club. 
She and two friends created Inner Circle Podcast, a virtual space where they share laughs and positivity, but also tackle through issues, tough issues, such as race, gender, and races, racism. And she has been awarded $1,500. Our next awardee is Ross Emil. Has, he, has been a he has been dedicated to a support of urban ministries to support Durham's homeless population. He has also exhibited leadership within the classroom by teaching the other students about the history of Dur Durham's Haiti neighborhood. Apparently I've been muted again. Um, so I'm not sure what the last thing I was said. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning of Elena Gomez. So um, Elena Gomez is a first generation college attendee. She has been very involved in urban ministries, food pantry and clothes closet, involved in her church youth board. She has also dedicated time each week at Duke Hospital, painting pictures for the pediatric patients to help brighten their days. She has been awarded $750. Our next recipient, Karina Knight, is not only involved in the Jordan community through building sets for the theater department, recording videos of students reading books for elementary kids during remote learning and participating in the Social Issues Club. She also supports the greater Durham community through her involvement in the Durham Food Pantry. She is being awarded $1,500. And our last recipient, is Isan Muhammad has supported the Jordan community through the creation of the Unsung Hero Project that celebrated the custodial and support staff at Jordan. In addition to advocating for a quiet prayer space for our Muslim students and organizing a culture's day to celebrate our multiculturalism at Jordan. She has also been awarded $1,500. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Lip, and thank you, everyone. We have gotten through our technical hiccups. Next, we'll have Ms. Hembrick to present a few scholarships. Hello, everyone. My name is Donna Hembrick, and I'm one of the counselors here at Jordan. The Anika James Performing Arts Scholarship was created as a tribute to a former Falcon, Anika James. The foundation aims to honor Anika's love for the performing arts by providing scholarships to deserving seniors. This year's recipient is Zoe Bright. Next, we will present the National Merit Scholars. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition where students can be recognized for scholarships based on academic achievement and qualification on the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. This year's scholarship recipient goes to Sebastian Bacheri. Hey everyone, my name is Logan. Next, um, we will have Logan Barkas present scholarships on behalf of the Durham Public Schools Foundation. Logan Barkas and I am with the Durham Public Schools Foundation. I am so excited to announce our scholarship recipients for this year at Jordan High School. We received so many great applications, so I just want to extend my thank you to everyone who submitted to us and shared your passions and goals. So thank you again. And now for the recipients. The recipient of the Carlton G. Miles Scholarship is Zoe Bright. The recipient of the Durham Promise Scholarship at Jordan High School this year is Allison Lawrence. The recipient of the First Generation Scholarship is Alina Gomez. Thank you all so much. Congratulations to our four recipients and everyone who is graduating at Jordan this year. Thanks and take care. Now we will have presentations from both the Moorhead Kane Scholarship and the Park Scholarship. Hello, my name is Sophia Gutierrez and I'm a staff member at the Moorhead Kane Foundation. As you may know, the Moorhead Kane is the first merit scholarship program established in the United States. 
It calls the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, the nation's first public university, home. The Moorhead Kane is a full four-year scholarship that includes significant academic and personal discovery opportunities. These include summer enrichment experiences, a discovery fund for educational pursuits, and so much more. But more than just resources and selectivity, the Moorhead Kane is a close-knit community of thinkers and adventurers. Scholars and alumni are diverse in their interests and deep in their commitments. They hope to make a thoughtful and long-lasting impact on their communities and on the world at large. In that spirit, we are proud to recognize one of your own as a Moorhead Kane Scholar in the class of 2026 at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. This student is serving as captain of the tennis team, a member of the robotics club, and the fundraising coordinator for the Science Olympiad Club. An avid tennis player, he teaches lessons to young players weekly, while also enjoying playing piano and serving as president of the Red Cross Club. He is a person of character who has had a positive impact on his peers and community, and we know that he will make a similar impact at Carolina and beyond. We are humbled to present this year's Moorhead Kane Scholar from CE Jordan High, Samuel Johnson. We hope you'll join all of us on the Moorhead Kane staff in congratulating Samuel. Hello. I'm delighted to be here today to recognize Asha Coltrane and Dahlia Albedi for their exceptional achievement and selection as a member of the 27th class of Park Scholars at NC State. Go Wolfpack! I would like to tell you about the Park Scholarships Program. Established in 1996 by the Charitable Park Foundation, the Park Scholarships Program brings exceptional students to NC State. It's based on outstanding accomplishments and potential in scholarship, leadership, service, and character. The program develops and supports Park Scholars in these areas, preparing them for lifelong contributions to the university, to our state, to the nation, and our world. Park Scholarships are four-year awards valued at $116,000 for North Carolina residents and $208,000 for out-of-state students. The award includes a four-year program of academic enrichment and leadership development activities, as well as a stipend for the purchase of a personal computer. Asha and Dahlia are two of 42 students chosen to receive a Park Scholarship this year from more than 2,200 applicants. Park Scholars are leaders who are actively involved in the community. For example, in February, Park Scholars organized the 18th Annual Krispy Kreme Challenge, a charity race that has committed $2 million to the North Carolina Children's Hospital. Over the past two decades, Park Scholars have earned many prestigious national awards, including the Churchill, Fulbright, Goldwater, Marshall, Mitchell, Truman, and Udall scholarships, as well as National Science Foundation grants. As you can tell, Park Scholars are motivated, bright young people who are making a positive impact. And NC State is so very proud of Asha and Dahlia. And it is my pleasure to welcome such outstanding scholars to the Wolfpack family. Again, congratulations and go Pack. The next few scholarships and awards that we'll present are various scholarships and awards that students have applied through through their schools or different outside agencies. So the Navy ROTC scholarship and Army ROT scholarship is being awarded to Grace Wright. Congratulations, Grace. The Impact Scholarship awarded by Meredith College is being awarded to Isan Muhammad. Congratulations, Isan. The Remarkable Future Scholarship awarded by Chick-fil-A will be going to Zoe Bright. Congratulations, Zoe. 
The Rensselaer Medal given by the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute will be awarded to Joshua Collins. Congratulations, Joshua. And Ms. Hembrick will announce the next few scholarships. The Opportunity Scholarship sponsored by Eastern Kentucky State University goes to Carla Sandoval Rosado. The next two scholarships are sponsored by Wake Forest University. The Zach, Zachary T. Smith Leadership Scholarship and the Wake Forest Scholarship both go to Donovan DeWitt. Congratulations, Car Carla and Donovan. The next recipient has two awards. The John W. Kluge Scholar from Columbia University and the 2021 Youth Honoree by the Durham Committee on the Affairs of Black People. These two awards go to Nicholas Brown. Let's congratulate those students who've already received awards. We're going to move into the next part of the program with the departmental awards. The first award will be from the Department of Science and the presenter will be Mr. Finger. Thank you everyone. I am here to talk about two students who were nominated by three of their science teachers for an amazing career in science at Jordan High School. Both of these students took over six science classes at Jordan High School, including taking AP classes such as AP Environmental Science, AP Chemistry, and AP Physics. They stood out in class and they stood out in doing their science labs, and we would like to honor these two students. The first student is Charlotte Aspinwall. And our second student is Emerson Yuan. Congratulations to both of these great science students. Next, we will have English Department Awards. The first award for most inspirational student will be presented by Ms. G. My name is Heather G and I'm here to present the award for most inspirational English student. This award is going to Myla Harris. Myla is earning this award because of her perseverance with English. When she came to Jordan, she did not like English, she did not like reading, she did not like writing, but she never gave up. She continued to try, she improved her skills in all areas. Her perseverance is something to be respected and rewarded. She is an inspiration for all around her. Congratulations, Myla. The next award for best overall student of English will be presented by Ms. Howes. I'm really excited to present Elena Brosnan's award as best overall student of English. I am presenting this award on behalf of Miss Eves, who is out on maternity leave. She says, Elena adores reading and is ready to dive deep into stories to mine them for deep truths and connect them to modern events. She is critical in her analysis, passionate in her communication, and innovative in her thinking. Her joy for learning and for reading and exploring narratives is contagious. I would personally love to have her as an English teacher when I grow up. Congratulations, Alina. There are two. There are two awards by Ms. Hembrick. There are two awards for the Department of Math for Outstanding Mathematician. The first goes to Charlotte Aspinwall. And the next student is William Fritz. Congratulations. The next presenter will be Ms. Painter for the English as a Second Language Awards. Good evening. My name is Jen Painter, and I'm honored to be present this evening to present for myself and my colleagues in the ESL department at Jordan. We would first like to recognize Yasmin Marua as our outstanding student of, oh, I'm sorry, I am out of order. 
apologies. We would first like to recognize Erli Rodriguez Mendoza with the Determination Award. Erli enrolled at Jordan in 2019 as a newcomer student. She spoke no English at that time. In her time at Jordan, Erli has impressed her teachers with her steadfast dedication to her work, gradually learning English and finding success in her classes. Erli has a shy, quiet spirit, but she has pushed herself into new endeavors such as the arts, taking choir remotely uh, during the 2020-2021 school year, and she participated in a district choral performance for all DPS teachers at our convocation last August. We would like to present the ESL Growth Award to Muskan Safi. Muskan moved to the US from Afghanistan just before the close of her eighth grade year. She has grown as a student and as a person throughout her Jordan career. She has challenged herself with progressively more difficult courses, choosing to take honors English in her final semester at Jordan. Muskan has also grown as a leader, growing in confidence and using her knowledge and experiences to support other Jordan students. She and her sister created a presentation to help orient other newcomer students to Jordan. And she has been instrumental in orienting her cousins who arrived at Jordan this winter from Afghanistan. The ESL department would like to recognize Yasmin Marua as our outstanding student of ESL. Yasmin has an incredible focus on her goals. She has made amazing progress in her time in Durham. To give you an idea of the level of Yasmin's achievement, I'll share the timeline of her time in Durham Public Schools. In December, 2019, Yasmin and her sister enrolled as refugee newcomer students at Riverside High School. Um, she knew just a bit of English at this time. And then we all, I believe, know and remember what happened in March, 2020. So from that time uh, until the end of the 2020-2021 school year, Yasmin navigated remote learning and then in August, 2021, for her senior year of high school, Yasmin enrolled at a new school, Jordan, um, and acclimated to a new school, navigated the college application process, and was admitted to UNC Greensboro. All of this is in addition to managing significant family responsibilities. Congratulations, Yasmin. We know you will achieve great things in the future. And finally, we would also like to recognize Jason Rivas Diaz as our most inspirational ESL student. He is taking honors English this year and he is a stalwart of the culinary arts program at Jordan. Jason also works as a media assistant. Jason achieves academic success while also being the bedrock of his family. He cares for his younger siblings at home and supports his family as they recover from a devastating house fire. Jason truly represents a Jordan Falcon who soars academically and in all his interactions with others. Congratulations to all of our 2022 graduates. The next presenters for advanced placement will be Mr. Bernhard and Ms. Evans. Hi everyone, um, on behalf of the teachers and educators within the AP program at Jordan, we have three students that we wanna recognize as recipients of the GRIT award. This award is given to students who demonstrated characteristics of improvement, resilience, 
perseverance and work ethic across their AP courses and years at Jordan. We want to recognize Keenan Day, Ruthie Harvey, and Trinity Zendalian as recipients of the GRID Award. Having been fortunate enough to teach all three of these students kind of throughout the years, I can say without a doubt, their strong work ethic and do whatever it takes attitude will serve them well as they move on to, into college. Congratulations. The uh, teachers of advanced placement courses also are awarding the Academic Excellence Award to four students this year. This award goes to those who have maintained the highest academic record in multiple AP courses during their time. I've also had the pleasure of teaching all four of these students and can vouch for their, their talent, their work ethic, and their, their readiness when they go to college next year. So the first recipient of the Academic Excellence Award is Elena Brosnan. The second is Nicholas Brown. The third is Ben Chesser. And the fourth is Sarah Larich. I will also be talking a bit about the AP Student of the Year, which is an award given to the student who is most well-rounded in terms of their academic achievement and classroom leadership. That description doesn't even begin to describe the student who has earned this award this year, who has dedicated themselves the entire time I've known her to getting better and getting smarter and supporting her classmates, advocating for herself and doing really cool work in her time at Jordan. So this year's AP Student of the Year is Asha Coltrane. Next, we will have Ms. Howard, who will present on behalf of the Department of World Languages. So I'm going to let you all know the presenter had an emergency to come up. So I'm going to read what she sent me regarding this student. So this is the Outstanding World Languages Senior. World Language Senior, World Languages Senior of 2022, is McDowell Mebratu. She has been studying ASL at Jordan for four years. This is not her second language, but her fourth language. She has shown dedication and immense growth in her facility with language. Last year, she stretched her comfort zone and participated in the ASL National Storytelling Competition, earning a silver seal. This year, she pushed herself even further by signing for the Spring Musical Theater's production, Bright Star. Her visual rendition of At Last was magnificent. Along with their certificate, we would like you to have a copy of Haven. Haven Gurma, a deaf blind woman with Eritrean roots, has an inspiring story of overcoming obstacles and finding her own path. All the best to you in following your dreams. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Olivia Ballou. I'm the... The next presenter will be Ms. Bolito from the Arts Department. Theater Director here at Jordan High School. Today, I want to present a few very special people with some special awards. To start, the most dedicated award is being given to Isata Alu. The Above and Beyond Award is being given to Gabby Delgado. The recipients of the Shining Star Award, which is the person who performs above all else on stage, is going to Efren Alvarado and Kaylee Marsh-Smith. The Director's Choice Award is being given to Trent Niclerio for his hard work and dedication on She Kills Monsters. And our final award is the Leadership Award. And again, for the show, She Kills Monsters, Eliza Mariana. Next, we will have our Social Studies Awards that will be presented by Mr. Murray. Hi everyone, thanks for having me. Um, we have a few Social Studies Awards to give out tonight. So the first one is the Polly Murray Award, which is for Excellence in Social Studies. And that award goes to Asha Coltrane. Our next award is the W.E.B. Du Bois Award for Academic Achievement. And this one goes to Isa Masambuko. Our third award is the Ida B. Wells Award for uh, Excellence in Writing. And this one goes to Elena Brosnan. And our next award is the Ella Baker Award for Critical Engagement in Social Studies. 
And this one goes to Kimothy Reed Bandelay. And our final award is the Dolores Huerta Award for Civic Engagement and Community Building. And this one goes to Asan Muhammad. Congrats all. And now it's time to have presentations for the Department of Athletics. The first set of scholarships is for football. We have Vincent Anthony Jr. who will be attending or playing at Duke University and Jaden Williams who will be playing at Winston-Salem State. For men's lacrosse, we have Riley Frankel who will be playing for the University of Lynchburg and Julius Larson who will be playing for Catawba College. The Volleyball DAC Player of the Year goes to Sydney McCree, who will be attending Norfolk State University. For baseball, Brandon Garcia and Benton Jones will be playing for the University of Lynchburg. Swimming will be awarded to Joshua Collins, who will be attending Rensselaer Polytech Institute. For track and field, we have Jordan Reese, who will be playing, who will be running for UNC Charlotte, and Tatalina Jobel, who will be um, on the team at King University. The Durham Sports Club Scholar Athlete Award goes to Benton Jones for baseball and Zoe Bright for swimming. The Anglin Athletic Scholarship sponsored by the Kim Anglin family goes to Sarah Lerich, Lerich, Lerich and Austin Hayes. The Darla H Award for Courage and Sportsmanship Scholarship sponsored by Hager Smith Design goes to Hannah Allred. Next, Ms. Howard will uh, uh, present for special recognitions. Our first special recognition is the Yes, I Can Award. And this award goes to Christopher Harris. Congratulations, Christopher. Congratulations, Christopher. Christopher will be attending Project Search. Next, Ms. Williams will present our Outstanding Senior Award. Each year, our C.E. Jordan Falcon nomin nominates, um, I'm sorry, each year our C.E. Jordan faculty nominates and selects our Outstanding Senior Award recipient. This year is given, or this award is given to a student that has exhibited strong leadership, community engagement, academic achievement, and is an overall model student. This year's recipient is Yasmin Marua. Yasmin has moved across Durham and across the world during her high school career. She's attended high school both in Cameroon and in Durham at Riverside and Jordan. She has kept her focus on her goals during all of these transitions, learning English and adapting to a new culture along the way. Yasmin balances her studies with being a caregiver and a cultural broker for her family. We are impressed with the way that Yasmin has successfully navigated the college application process despite being in a new school for her senior year. We wish Yasmin good luck at UNC Greensboro next year. We know she will do great things. We just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining us tonight as we celebrate the class of 2022. These students have truly supported their fellow Falcons. They've optimized opportunities. They've appropriately responded and they've respected our school community. So congratulations to the class of 2022. You can continue to support these students by donating your time or your funds towards our Senior Fest that will be occurring June 3rd from 2.30 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. 
You may also support them by watching them walk across the stage on Tuesday, June 14th at Duke Cameron Stadium with a ticket or through live stream. Again, thank you all for your continual support and have a great night.